So today on Longevity Post, we're going to overcome some myths and fears about what the reality is behind getting your weight in the right figure situation. So, Bob, uh, what questions do you have for us? Please tell us why calcium is such a great thing to use when trying to lose weight. Sure, Bob. So calcium does some interesting things. It reduces the cortisol hormone and helps put on weight. It reduces leptin and insulin resistance, which are also known to put on weight. And it increases your metabolism up to 25%. So you may find that you're going to burn a lot of weight or calories or fat uh, in the metabolic process by sweating when you're sleeping at night. Okay, that sounds awesome. And now let's say that I want to try this. What kinds of food should I opt for? Easy to find foods that are rich in calcium, such as uh, yogurt, cottage cheese. Greek yogurt is more, I would say, is really what you're looking for. And if you're looking for the types of milk, prefer the A2 type of milk, which are things like goat or yak milk, um, or A2 milk from cows that live in warm climates, Bob. Is it possible to get too much calcium in your body? Uh, not exactly. Uh, sometimes you have to be aware of cofactors. You want to get a little bit of a vitamin D to sort of allow the intestines to absorb the calcium. It would be nice to get some vitamin K2 to prevent the hypercalcemia effect. So this might be something you might want to look closer into, Bob. Is there any way to fortify the calcium that you take? Well, there is, and it's not through supplementation through calcium itself, because you want to stick to calcium-rich foods. The best way to fortify your calcium, though, is to introduce certain probiotics, and this is going to enhance the overall metabolic effect. And I will list those probiotics in the comments section. Is there any risk that eating more and more calcium-rich foods can interfere with your uh, supplement routine? You know there is. Calcium does interfere with the absorption of some supplements. Any supplement with a polyphenol is more likely to be disrupted. So your best efforts from supplements uh, should be taking polyphenol supplements away from the calcium food. If you're eager to get healthier but are fed up with non-holistic pharmaceutical-based one-size-fits-all approach, simply subscribe to our channel and let's prioritize longevity together. Free of charge, full of longevity. Also, you can help us out a lot by pressing the like button for this video. Thanks and have a great now.